Welcome. Howdy, everyone. This is Tiffany Madison with Liberty.me, and today I am chatting with Robert Murphy, economist at the Independent Institute, research fellow at Mises Institute, and also karaoke master. How are you today, Bob? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. Um, so I'm super excited to talk to you today because you have an amazing event coming up, and you're also doing some really amazing work with Liberty Me. We have a new element of our university program that's expanding to feature scholars such as yourself. Uh, we're actually launching with you. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're planning to teach? Sure. So it's going to be a, a four-week class, and the sessions are going to be focused on economic fallacies. So basically, I'm just going to run through some common objections to laissez-faire capitalism. I'm going to be drawing on my book, The Politically Incorrect Guide to Capitalism, and just going through standard objections people have to the market economy and then explaining how a free market economist coming from the Austrian perspective would deal with those objections. And then for each class, I'll run through some prepared remarks and then leave a lot of time at the end for Q&A because I know uh, the people tuning in are certainly going to have questions. That's awesome. Thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, I have to ask you, I read your book a long time ago, actually, before I even had the pleasure of meeting you. Um, are there any specific you know, subjects or topics that you're going to feature more than others in the uh, actual class? Well, I think early on I'll hit some of the more standard stuff like, you know, minimum wage laws, uh, rent control, uh, do we need the government to enforce minimum standards of safety in, in consumer products or, you know, do we need the FAA to make sure air, airplanes aren't falling out of the sky? You know, that sort of stuff and just walk through what about money? Could, could money emerge in a free market? How does that work? And then maybe as it, as it goes on, depending on the feedback I get and the level of sophistication of the people tuning in, probably getting more esoteric stuff like do we need the government to provide police and legal services or, or military services, depending on if that's the direction people want to take it. Nice. So basically the Liberty Media community needs to make sure they're on their, uh, on their game when it's time for your class. <laughs> well, definitely, yeah. So certainly it's even this is going to be a spontaneous order. We'll see what happens. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Good. Well, um, thank you very much for taking the time to do that. That's awesome. Well, yeah, um, we definitely we actually have, uh, sorry, go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> Glad for the opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's good. I, I know a lot of people are going to enjoy it. Uh, so, Night of Clarity, you have your own event coming up um, that is, you know, everybody's kind of talking about. I will be there. Um, Marianne Copenhaver, Libertarian Girl, will be there. Tatiana Moroz. Uh, we have several other individuals, an amazing speaking lineup. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind Night of Clarity. You know, what encouraged you guys to, to put such a good event together? Sure. So this is something I do with my business partner and co-author, Carlos Lara, that we, we both live in Nashville. And so this is an annual event we've been doing for the last several years. And it, it basically we're trying to uh, bring free market Austrian education, but it's more aimed at the financial community, but it's also for just the general public. It's talking about, uh, we bring in speakers talking about the banking system and the monetary system and, and what households should do to be ready for the ultimate economic crash that we see coming. Uh, so this year the, the theme is uh, corporatism versus capitalism to make sure people understand that what has been happening is not laissez-faire capitalism with the government and Fed bailing out banks and so forth. Our headline speaker is David Stockman. We've also got Tom Woods coming, Nelson Nash, and uh, Larry Reed, the president of the Foundation for Economic Education, I'll be giving a talk. And as you mentioned, uh, Tatiana is going to be there uh, singing. And it's a good time also just vi visiting Nashville. I encourage people, if you've never visited Nashville, it's a good time. There's going to be karaoke involved. <laughs> uh, I think everyone expects that at this point. <laughs> uh, as a recent arrival in Tennessee, I'm, I've been in Nashville a couple times, and it is a blast. So it's, it's good. Everybody's, I'm pretty sure, looking forward to the event. Anybody who's interested in participating, um, you know, Liberty Me will be there. Um, anybody who is interested in participating can go to nightofclarity.com. Um, thank you so much, Bob, for taking the time to chat with us today. Any, uh, any parting words of wisdom that you have for the Liberty Me audience? Well, I just am glad you guys are excited about this and participating in this new venture of Liberty.me, and just do what you can to spread the word about Liberty. Nice. I like it. Well, you can check out Bob's class at uh, Liberty Me University, which you can find at our website. We uh, look forward to, to seeing your lecture, Bob. Okay, thanks. Thank you.